Hey, Cedric here. Just doing a, a further review on this little giant wagon, all right? The one that I got for pulling my boy Luke. Uh, remember, we did a GoFundMe. You all helped me out. Helped me get the money up for that. So, thank you very much. And now, we're going to look at how an American company treats their customers, all right? They talk about all American. American company, okay? I want you to see what we've got going on here. This was a $500, $500 wagon, all right? And look, these wheels have been nothing but issues since the beginning. They leak from the valve stems. Um, I had leaks in every single one of the tires. And this is the crappy rim that these come with, okay? And secondly, look what they've done here. On every one of the axles, they have peened this over so you can't remove the retaining collar, hence rendering me unable to remove the rim and put new tires on if I were able to afford the BS prices of these tires, which Little Giant doesn't even sell, all right? Little Giant doesn't sell the tires to you, a one-inch axle, okay? So, we've looked at this. This is the crappiest rim I have ever seen, all right? Crappiest rim. Now, we're going to move on. This is what they installed. This is the this is why I've been having troubles. Look at this. This is on the inside. You see that slit there right next to the valve stem? And the valve stems have been leaking air since day 1. Look at this. All right? This is what Little Giant and American, and I'm doing those air quote things, right, with my voice. This is what they give their customers on a 500 plus dollar wagon. All right? Peened over so you can't change the tires. Crappy grease fittings that don't fit your standard grease gun. And they leak. Um, need I go on, you know? Uh... I'm just really blown away, really blown away. And when, when confronted, Little Giant has nothing but excuses and no answers as to why they put the crummiest Chinese tires available. Look at this, all right? I want you to look at the piss poor quality of this. I want you to see these tires that they're putting on. Can you see this? Is this going to show up? Look at that. Look at this. This is the crappiest crap I have ever seen. This is the tire. The crappy Chinese tire, made in China, alright, that comes on your American made wagon. Is that showing up? Made in China. It comes on your American made wagon. And these aren't even as good as the damn tires that Harbor Freight sells. And y'all know how Harbor Freight is, okay? You know they don't worry about holding like the, the best quality stuff. I am just really blown away. I had to order new tubes and I'm uncertain if I will be able to get it on this crappy rim. The way that this is built, look how thin and chintzy this is. I was barely able, look, getting it off, it bent with hardly any pressure. I can bend this with my freaking fingers. I'm just blown away little giant. I mean, when I first got this, and still only three wheels touch unless I've got my 100-pound dog in here, and then all of a sudden all four wheels touch. You know, uh, a bent body, came with scratches, you know, still got the scratches there. Little Giant, what's up? Little Giant Wagons, man, Little Giant Manufacturing. This is the quality of stuff you're putting out. You call yourself an American company. You call yourself quality. You charge these prices, and this is what you give me. All right, well, that's Cedric. It's just a, a little bit of a rant, but a review as well. So, buyer beware. All right, buyer beware if you're going to buy one of these products. This is what you'll be getting. It's Cedric saying, be good to yourselves. Live free and punch hard. Hold your heads up high, and I'll catch you later. Bye.